Welcome back to another intriguing week in the AI universe. Groundbreaking discoveries are revolutionizing our understanding of genes at the cellular level. And get this, AI is now co-piloting actual planes, not drones. Plus, a virtual assistant that's about to redefine your workspace. Intrigued? Let's dive in. DeepMind and Google Cloud team up to launch SynthID for watermarking AI-generated images. DeepMind, Google's AI research division, has partnered with Google Cloud to introduce a watermarking tool specifically designed for AI-generated images. SynthID is currently in beta and available to select users of Vertex AI, Google's platform for building AI applications and models. SynthID embeds a digital watermark directly into the pixels of an image, making it nearly invisible to the human eye, but detectable by algorithms. The tool is designed to work exclusively with Imagen, Google's text-to-image model available on Vertex AI. While Google had previously mentioned embedding metadata to signal AI-generated visual media, SynthID takes this a step further. It remains intact even after the image undergoes modifications, like adding filters or changing colors, thanks to the use of two AI models trained together for watermarking and identifying. DeepMind emphasizes the importance of being able to identify AI-generated content to prevent the spread of misinformation. The tool aims to empower people with the knowledge of when they are interacting with AI-generated media. However, it's worth noting that SynthID can't identify watermarked images with 100% confidence. It distinguishes between images that might contain a watermark and those highly likely to contain one. SynthID is not foolproof against extreme image manipulations, but represents a promising technical approach for responsible AI-generated content usage. DeepMind suggests that the tool could evolve to work with other types of media, like audio, video, and text. The launch of SynthID comes amid increasing regulatory pressure for transparency in AI-generated content. Recently, China's Cyberspace Administration and U.S. Senator Kirsten Sinema have emphasized the need for marking AI-generated content. Other companies like Microsoft, Shutterstock, and generative AI startup Midjourney have also committed to watermarking AI-generated images and videos. Watermarking techniques for generative art are not new. Companies like French startup Imatag and Steg AI offer similar tools. However, a common watermarking standard has yet to be established. DeepMind is considering making SynthID available to third parties, although its adoption among open-source AI image generators remains uncertain. Are you ready? AI comes to the U.S. Air Force. The future of aerial combat is here. In a groundbreaking move that's set to revolutionize military tactics and the defense industry, the U.S. Air Force is testing its pilotless XQ-58A Valkyrie, an aircraft unlike any other. What sets this experimental drone apart? It's not just its rocket engine, stealth design, or long-range missiles. It's the cutting-edge artificial intelligence that powers it, making it a formidable robot wingman in aerial combat. Imagine flying an F-15 fighter jet, but your wingman isn't a human. It's an AI-driven jet, capable of making its own tactical decisions. That's exactly what Major Ross Elder experienced during a recent test flight at Florida's Eglin Air Force Base. It's a very strange feeling, he said. I'm flying off the wing of something that's making its own decisions, and it's not a human brain. The Valkyrie is designed to work in tandem with human pilots, using its AI and sensors to identify enemy threats. After receiving human authorization, it can move in for a lethal strike, all while costing a fraction of traditional fighter jets. This isn't just a technological leap, it's a paradigm shift in how the military thinks about combat, weaponry, and human-machine collaboration. But it's not all smooth sailing. As we integrate AI into lethal weaponry, ethical questions loom large. How much autonomy should we grant these AI-powered drones? What are the safeguards against mistakes or misuse? Despite these challenges, the Air Force is pushing ahead aiming to build up to 2,000 of these AI drones as part of their affordable mass strategy. So, as the race for technological superiority heats up, especially against rivals like China, the Valkyrie program offers a glimpse into a future where AI doesn't just assist human pilots, but becomes an integral part of the air combat strategy.
Up next is Megagon Lab Study, which reveals sensitivity of large language models to multiple choice question order. A recent study by Megagon Labs investigated the robustness of large language models, or LLMs, like GPT-4 and Instruct GPT in handling multiple choice questions. The study found that LLMs show a significant performance discrepancy when the order of choices is altered. This discrepancy ranged from 13% to 75% across various benchmarks. The researchers hypothesized that the observed sensitivity occurs when LLMs are unsure between the top two, or top three options for a prediction. The study suggests that due to positional bias in the question's wording, the order of some options may favor certain predictions among these top selections. So next time you let ChatGPT run through a multiple choice quiz, or make a prediction based on options, know that the order of those choices could significantly impact the model's performance. Unlocking the secrets of single cells, AI takes gene research to the next level. In a groundbreaking development that could revolutionize our understanding of diseases like cancer and Alzheimer's, a team of scientists at the University of Toronto has created an AI model that can predict gene expression at the single cell level. Meet SCGPT, or Single Cell Generative Pre-Trained Transformer, an AI tool that's set to change the game in cellular biology. Traditionally, scientists have relied on bulk RNA sequencing to study gene expression, but this method only provides a generalized view. Now, with the advent of Single Cell RNA Sequencing, or SERNA-SEC, researchers can delve into the unique characteristics of individual cells, but analyzing this data has been a challenge, until now. SCGPT is a versatile AI model that can be fine-tuned to perform a multitude of tasks using CRNA-seq data. From predicting the effects of gene manipulation to identifying previously undetectable cell types, this AI tool is a game-changer. It's like the ChatGPT of cellular biology, predicting gene expression levels just as ChatGPT predicts the next words in a sentence. Why is this so revolutionary? According to Bo Wang, the computational biologist who led the team, using a single base model like SCGPT, eliminates the inconsistencies that arise when using multiple computational models for different tasks. In a recent study, SCGPT outperformed standard approaches, categorizing cell types from different batches 5% more effectively, and correcting for non-biological factors just as well as widely used methods. But it's not all smooth sailing. Critics question the model's energy consumption and its accessibility to researchers without a background in machine learning. Despite these challenges, Wang's team is optimistic. They've made the code and model available to everyone and are working on educational resources to make SCGPT widely accessible. So, as we stand on the cusp of a new era in cellular biology, SCGPT and similar models are poised to answer some of the most pressing questions in medicine and biology. By the end of the year, I think you will have a very different picture than what we see now, says Ahmed Mahfouz, a computational biologist not involved in the study. Next up, Google's Duet AI transforms into a multifunctional assistant for Google Workspace users. Google announced that its generative AI-powered helper, Duet AI, is now generally available to anyone using Google Workspace. Previously in testing with thousands of companies, Duet AI will be offered as a no-cost trial for interested customers. Duet AI is designed to serve multiple roles. Number one, meeting assistant. Duet AI can be integrated into Google Meet, where it helps enhance your appearance with studio look, lighting, and sound. It also offers dynamic tiles and face detection for attendees, along with real-time translated captions in 18 languages. Number two, note-taking and recaps. In meetings, Duet AI can take notes, capture action items, and video snippets in real-time. Once the meeting concludes, it sends a summary to all attendees. For those who join late, a Summary So Far feature provides a snapshot of what they've missed. Number three, virtual attendance. One unique feature is the Attend For Me option, where Duet AI can join the meeting on your behalf, deliver your message, 
and ensure you receive a recap afterward. Number four, document summarizer. Duet AI can summarize documents, making it easier to get the gist of lengthy files. For example, it can sift through Google Sheets and monthly business review slides to create a summary of a financial analyst's Q3 performance. Number five, presentation creator. It can also create presentations using text, charts, and images from your Google Drive and Gmail. It can even write speaker notes based on the slide's content. Number six, chat companion. In Google Chat, Duet AI serves as a chatbot, allowing you to ask about content in Gmail and Drive, summarize documents shared in a chat space, and catch up on missed conversations. Google Chat itself is getting a UI refresh, new shortcuts, enhanced search, and will soon support up to 500,000 members. Number seven, smart replies in Gmail. Duet AI enhances Gmail's existing smart reply feature, enabling users to draft longer, more personalized email replies with just a tap. Number eight, personalized content creation. Google is also partnering with organizations like Typeface and Jasper to enable marketers to use generative AI for creating personalized content in workspace. Revolutionizing AI training, NVIDIA and Hugging Face join forces to unleash cloud-based supercomputing. In a groundbreaking partnership that's set to redefine the landscape of AI training, NVIDIA is teaming up with AI startup Hugging Face. The collaboration was announced at the annual SIGGRAPH conference and aims to simplify the creation of new and custom generative AI models for enterprises. Introducing Training Cluster as a Service, a new offering that combines the best of both worlds. Powered by NVIDIA's DGX Cloud, dubbed the AI Supercomputer in the Cloud, this service will offer unparalleled computing power. With access to eight NVIDIA H100 or A100 GPUs and a whopping 640 gigabytes of GPU memory, enterprises can now develop AI apps and large language models like never before. And if that's not enough, the package also includes consultations with NVIDIA experts. But what makes this service truly unique? It integrates NVIDIA's DGX Cloud infrastructure with Hugging Face's extensive platform which boasts more than 250,000 models and over 50,000 datasets. For companies looking to kickstart their AI projects, this is the ultimate launchpad. Pricing starts at $36,999 per instance for a month, offering a comprehensive solution for AI development. Hugging Face CEO Clement DeLong expressed excitement about the partnership, stating, our collaboration will bring NVIDIA's most advanced AI supercomputing to Hugging Face to enable companies to take their AI destiny into their own hands. This comes at a pivotal time for Hugging Face, which is reportedly looking to raise funds at a staggering $4 billion valuation. If you have made it this far, comment down below with the word interesting to confirm that you have received the knowledge from this video. Want to show some extra support? Consider using the Super Thanks feature. Your generous contribution helps us continue producing informative content. What do you think about this news? Would you like to see more videos like this? Let us know in the comments. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.